Hi everyone, this is Aaron from the Galactic Armory and I wanted to start a new series where I go over some of my most common 3D printer problems and exactly how to fix them. Right now I own about 75 CR10 V2 3D printers and even if you don't own that specific printer, a lot of what I'm going to cover here can be applied to other 3D printers as well. So let's go ahead and get started with one of the craziest problems that you might come across. So this big mess here is the unfortunate result of a Bowden tube fitting either wearing out or breaking. If we look here, you can see that the Bowden tube has popped out, but that filament just keeps coming out. If we take a closer look at the fitting, I can see that it is probably just worn out because when you press that top white part, it should kind of spring up and down. But this one does not, which tells me that the teeth that are supposed to hold that Bowden tube in place probably just wore out and the tube just popped right out. Fortunately, the fix for this is very simple. We just got to replace that fitting and it should be good as new. Here on the left, you can see the original fitting that doesn't have any spring to it and the one on the right that does. So all we've got to do is screw this new one in. We're going to clip that damaged Bowden tube because the teeth from the old fitting probably messed it up a little bit. So we want to avoid that. I'm just going to clip it shorter so we have a fresh tube in the fitting. This kind of problem only really exists if you have a Bowden tube. Some of the direct drive 3D printers that are coming out now use that direct drive system to totally avoid this. But if you have a 3D printer with a Bowden tube, this might be something you want to check. 